Hi, this is Brian Brew, how are all of you? And today we are going to play Constructor Plus. So, from what I can tell, this looks a bit like Sim City on steroids. <laughs> the void engine don't tell me how to do my job, yeah. Okay, that's must be the boss. Rolls Royce, uh, looking car coming. Ha! <laughs> nice! Hey, Signore Salvatore, it's uh, nice to see you. Hey, a few more days, please. Uh, my cat is sick. No, no, I, I mean, my dad is sick. You have a family too. Hi, John. Excuse me, I don't mean the Mafia type family. I mean the other kids and cats and stuff. No. Oh. Oh. Yep, the old cement mixer trick. I could get out. Let's call it even. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Charming. So that's putting an edge on the game. I've got to look out for the mafia, try to blow up our buildings. Right. Click him. Sir, <laughs> you think you can make it in the world of Constructor? Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants? Let's go for it. Right. So, you think you can make it in the world of Constructor? You just said that. Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob? Yeah, you just said that. Can we skip that, please? So, please you think you can make Jesus! it in the world of Constructor? Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants? It sounds like boys here of uh, Only Fools and Horses. I'll get it in the neck if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever-important cursor is controlled using the mouse. You can push scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. Well, there's no flies on you, are there? You can move the camera view around using the cursor keys. Why don't you have a look around now? You can zoom right out by pressing delete or rolling the mouse scroll wheel towards you. Well done. You're not as daft as you look. Oh! You can zoom back in by pressing insert or rolling the mouse scroll wheel away from you. Okay. Right. This is your HQ, center of all things important. You'd best protect it like it was one of your own. If this burns down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry, we'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. All right then, dear boy. Rather than standing around picking your nose, let's get going by selecting this geezer. Point your cursor at his feet Ooh, well, I... and press the left mouse button. I just did that. This is your foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He will instruct his own work team to do all the hard graft for you whilst he files the risk assessments. 
You can okay. move him around by pointing where you want him to move to right and pressing the right mouse button. Right and here they come. Your workers have finally got out of bed to do some hard graft. It's just like the only one of the fucking workers in the form of the flies and shit. Right by pointing and pressing right the right mouse button. His work team will always tag along. You've just placed it said it is going to be a Right now. That was a long walk, wasn't it? Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. So you'd better add two more workers to this guy's team. Select right the time. flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Select spare workers on the right to fill the team up to five. And then choose the flashing group selection icon to bring right them together. Time. Great job. You're getting the idea with these flashing icons. Now let's exit this screen. Right, enough of all this poncing about. <laughs> time to do some building. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the estate agent. The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a plank like you. <laughs> Get it up and running to supply wood for your future buildings. You're a cheeky Try bastard. Try finding a legal position to place the site by moving the cursor footprint around. You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team colour. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Would you look at that? A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, press the left mouse button whilst hovering over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be... Would you yep. look at that? A brand spanking new building site. Deep to break. view the yep. site, press the left mouse yep. button whilst hovering over the footings. Hey, right on. Watch them build. It's a real delight. If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Cool. Watch them build. It's a real delight. If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Congratulations. You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will be your source of wood for years to come. Press the left mouse button whilst hovering over the building foundations or click the new icon that's appeared on the left-hand side of the screen. Okay. To speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. You've made enough of a racket, but now <laughs> we've got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the estate agent to see your new choices. Hey. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Click on the Homes icon to see what's new. You now have access to three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin, which will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the selected building type by using the directional buttons. Press the left mouse button to place site. Well, that one's squeezed in nicely. <laughs> now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using the left mouse button and move him to the site by pointing and clicking the right button. Whilst people are inside a building, Ooh, the flag well, appears I... outside. You can click on the base of his brown flag using the left button to select him. Right on. OK. We should have this new house knocked up in no time. It's quite good though. I don't enjoy it much. It's like any of these games once you get the, the hang of the mechanics. Pardon the pun. Where the fuck's he going? Bell cabin. Well done. 
Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a variety of types of houses will expand your choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house, even if it is a bit... naff. <laughs> to look inside and choose a tenant, hover your pointer over the base of the building and press the left mouse button. Well, this place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the Appoint Tenant icon. There are five levels of tenant <laughs> from the riffraff <laughs> to the tops. <laughs> I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. <laughs> uh, I'm scared in case I click on this to see myself. Take this dodgy looking pair. <laughs> Whilst they have plenty of money, they don't breed quickly enough. And they might damage your property. I think it's best we use the other couple. Oi. These slobs will do exactly what we need. They'll breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. Okay, let's go for that then. They've moved in and made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? You can find out what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant that you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are quite noisy and can cause problems for their neighbours. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained and don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. These areas give you information about the house and its tenants. Hover your pointer over each of the areas to find out more info. Currently, these guys are paying rents, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. That's a bit over the top, is it not? There you go. Your bundle of joys on its way. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your HQ. It's not bad, ain't it? Days, never getting them into work. To make your tenants a bit more active in the bedroom and deliver your children quicker, I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. <laughs> Click on the redecorate rooms button. No way. There are four rooms in this gaff. Each of these rooms has a different benefit. Such as increasing life expectancy, oh, relieving stress, reducing repairs, and increasing birth rate, which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. What a dump! <laughs> there are several <laughs> stages for each room that must be better than this. Select upgrade room to start redecorating. You will need to call a work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. That's pretty good. Marvellous! Your team has completed the new bedroom. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully it'll have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen and see how they are getting on. You will notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear. Just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed. And more rent they are willing to pay. Everyone wants a nice garden to go with their house, so let's start by improving the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge. Of course. Please select and purchase it. You need to get those lazy workers off their tea break and out into the yard to do some more work. Please call them back out. Each fence has a different defensive ability, as well as being aesthetically pleasing for your tenants. Defensive? Oh, we forgot about the that fucking market, didn't we? much better, and will keep your tenant happy. Now let's leave the house and have a look around. You can quickly see what each house is producing. Rent, workers or more tenants, as shown by the floating icon above the house. If something else is wrong, it will be shown there instead. Now we need to teach you how to look after your estates. Let's introduce you to one of our other characters, the Repairman.
Please select this fine gentleman over here. What do you want? Your repairman's a right spanner. <laughs> if you switch on auto repair, he will circle around all of your buildings on his current estate, repairing them one after another for you. Tidy. Alternatively, you can manually prioritise his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, he will move on to his next job. Okay. Makes sense. So, repair man. Hello, hello. Uh -oh. What's going on here? This dude looks like he's up to no good. Oh! He stole a bat, my bad. Someone has stolen some resources from your site on Katie Swallow's estate. It might not be too late to catch him and get them back. Righto. Who are I? Righto. Righto. Too late. He's disappeared right down your tube station and he seems to have stolen all your wood. You'll need to right restart home. that place. Get one of your teams back inside your lumber yard. <coughs> Looks like something is kicking off in here. Let's have a look inside the house. <laughs> Some people are now Rainbow. happy. They've sent a complaint letter to the council. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Oi! <coughs> Your factory's been going day and night. We can't stand the noise no more. Close it down for a bit or give us some double glazing. Okay. They are obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them sweet by getting your work team out of there. Righto. Hey. Righto. Hey. Well, hey. That was easy to deal with. They're not always as simple as that. Right on. Right, I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, please drop me a like, leave me the thumbs up. If you'd like to be kept up to date with future videos on my channel, the best way to do that is to subscribe. Click on that be bell, that'll notify when new videos are published to the channel. But from me, a Constructor Plus, I'm going to leave it here. I might come back to this, but yeah, I'm having good fun here. That's hilarious. What are you doing? That I'm saying goodbye to, to my viewers. Away. Shut up! They're not always. I'll see you all in the next one, okay? Be awesome! Bye!